Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is four no-nonsense guides in one for all of the alternate ammo types for the Wonder Weapon in a D machine. To start with, we have to do the free Wonder Weapon Easter Egg to get the Wonder Weapon. It is in the box as well, but you're going to want to do this Easter Egg first. It's important to do so. And then when we finish this tiny little egg, I'll show you each of the ammo upgrades in a turn. I'll also show you a tiny bit of gameplay of each of them, just so you can decide which ones you do or don't want to construct in your games. The first thing to do in your game is turn on power and pack a punch and then wait for your megaton to spawn in on rounds 7 to 11. That's the big green kind of yellowy hazmat zombie guy. Kill him and then kill his two halves. When you kill the second half and there's no megaton left, you should find a key card has been dropped. And this isn't just an intel key card, it's labeled key card. Pick up the key card and bring it to the weapons lab. This is the room with the nuke in it and enter it into this computer here. You'll be given back the die device, which you need to bring upstairs into the original Nachtrantoten spawn room. This step does require you to bring a horde of zombies in as well, so get a group with you when you're ready to do the step. You simply need to run over to the crack in the wall that I'm showing you here, hold square on it, and it will initiate a kind of temporary trap on the metal door just next to you. In the time it's active, you need to run your horde in front of that trap, and as you go back and forth, it will continue to kill zombies. You'll find that the trap turns off after about 25-30 seconds, and you'll be able to go back over to the crack in the wall and hold square to discharge and blow the door off that room if you've done this successfully. You'll then find your free wonder weapon inside. See, I told you that was really easy. There is a chance, though, that you don't have enough zombies, for example, to do this, and as such, you fail it, and you're not able to blow the door off. If that happens, don't worry, just wait for it to cool down, and you'll be able to do it again in a couple of minutes' time, or the next round, or something like that, when you've got more zombies to kill. Simply hold square on that crack in the wall once again, and give it another go. Now that that little Easter egg is done, we can start on the actual elemental upgrades themselves. Let's begin. First of all, the electric upgrade. With your newly acquired base level wonder weapon, you need to return to the Dark Aether. And to do this, we're going to be using, and I recommend here, the portal in the Particle Accelerator Room. Once you've held square on that portal and teleported back to the Dark Aether, run upstairs into the outside area. We're going to be looking for three yellow crystals, and we're going to need to suck those crystals with the Wonder Weapon, and as such, if it's got full ammo, you're going to need to fire the Wonder Weapon once just so you have the ability to suck. Your three crystal spawns are as follows. One crystal is on the roof of Nacht, just here on the side, as you can see. Another crystal is going to be found in the kind of pond area where the quick revive machine is, and it's just here, as you can see. And the third crystal is going to be the one that I'm showing you in the gameplay here. Now, with the Wonder Weapon, you're going to hold down your left trigger and suck one of the crystals, and you should find that you absorb its yellow essence, and it kind of glows on the end of your gun. Do not shoot your gun now. Instead, run all the way back to the Particle Accelerator room. If, while you're doing this, you return to the normal world instead of the Dark Aether, that's not a problem, don't worry. You'll still have the yellow glow on your gun as long as you don't shoot it, run over to the box that I'm showing you just here and shoot it with that yellow energy. You've then simply got to do this for both of the other crystals. So return to the Dark Aether via the portal in the Particle Accelerator room. Once it's come back, of course, it's not going to be there straight away. You'll have another portal in the pond area, but you'll need to use that and then wait for your portal in the Particle Accelerator to come back. But once it's back, use that Particle Accelerator portal, go to your next chosen crystal, get the yellow energy sucked up, and then run back to the box and blast it. When you've done this with your third and final crystal, the box will open and you'll be able to activate your Electro Bolt ammo type for your Wonder Weapon. Second on our list is the gas upgrade. Go to the top floor of Nacht, the roof, and you should see a yellow canister just out of reach. You're going to use the suck feature of the Wonder Weapon, so if you've got full ammo in it, then you need to shoot a shot so that you're able to suck with your left trigger, and then simply do as I'm doing here, stand where I'm standing, aim at the yellow canister, and suck it, and it should fly right over to you, and you'll be able to pick it up. Make sure you don't get confused and grab intel here, by the way, you want to make sure you're grabbing the canister. We're going to bring that canister to where Deadshot Daiquiri is on the map, so follow me as I'm going in the gameplay here, and you should see on the wall just ahead of you, there is a spot where you can play place the canister down. You then need to fill it up with the gas from dead plague hounds, so easiest way to do this is just to wait for a plague hound round and then bring a plague hound down there and kill it right in front of the canister, right there. And if you do that once or twice, you should find that the gas gets sucked up and the canister is filled. 
Pick the canister back up and run over to this box that I'm showing you in the crash site area of the map. It's got vines all over it. You're going to place the canister on top of that box and then shoot the canister. It should explode and get rid of the vines and you'll then be able to open the box up and inside you'll find your upgrade for the Nova 5 variant of ammo for your wonder weapon. Third on our list is the fire upgrade or laser upgrade. Go to the crash site on the map and look inside the cockpit of the plane. You should see a metal box and you're going to want to shoot that with a bullet based gun typically and you should see the top of it flip open. You then need to go to the dark ether. Dark ether portal portals will have spawned in when you completed that little easter egg that we did at the beginning of the video to get the free wonder weapons so there'll be one in the particle accelerator room and one in the kind of quick revive swampy area of the map go to the dark ether and run over to that fuse box that we just shot you'll find that now the cockpit of the plane is actually flying in the air and the box is exposed ready for you to pick up a fuse from inside it the next step's going to require us to head back to the Dark Ether again. So a bit later in your game, when your portal's back, you can go right through it and you're going to need to head over to the Deadshot Daiquiri machine this time. As you can see in the gameplay here, near Deadshot Daiquiri, there is a box which you can use your fuse on. So go over to it and hold square. Your last thing to do now then is to run over to that same box that we just basically lasered with that fuse, which is now going to be in a different place on the bed of a truck in front of the pond area, swamp area where Quick Revive is. Mantle or jump onto the truck bed, hold square on the box, and you'll unlock your new alternate ammo type for your wonder weapon. Fourth and final one on our list today is the ice upgrade. With your base unupgraded wonder weapon, head to the top of Nacht and shoot the wooden box that I am shooting here. The box will break and drop a flask, which will be on the floor below where the box was, so you can run over there and just hold square to pick that up. We're then going to need a megaton zombie to spawn in, also known as the Chungus. You may need to go a round or two, you may even need to go several rounds, but you're going to want to wait until a Chungus has spawned in, and when there is a Chungus among us, he needs to shoot the fungus. And what I mean by that is there's some mushroomy fungus growing on a tree in the kind of crash site slash swampy pond area of the map. It's this tree right here. You need to stand really near that fungus so that the chungus shoots you and hits the fungus. And that will cause it to start glowing purple and you should get an audio cue when you've done it correctly. You can then place the flask down just underneath the fungus and you then just need to wait like a minute or two and if after that time it's still not ready to be picked back up then I'd suggest coming back the next round. But once your waiting time is over you can run back over to it, pick up the flask and bring it with its newly acquired blue liquid down to the box that you can find in this area of the map near the speed cola machine. Simply pour the liquid onto it and it will freeze the chains on there and you'll get your final upgrade, the ice upgrade. Right, that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been four No Nonsense Guides in one, so hopefully No Nonsense snuck in there while I wasn't looking. If it's been useful for you guys, I would really, really appreciate if you could drop a like on the video. And if you liked the vid, then maybe you'll subscribe as well. You know, I'm going to be making a lot more No Nonsense Guides throughout Cold War Zombies, as well as plenty of live streams, storyline explanations, and just all sorts of stuff. So I'd love to have you along for the journey. Thanks for being here. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.